Hello and welcome back guys. So we continue with our messages. Now, the only thing remaining here is to display this message information a little better than we are doing right now. So to do that, I will simply uh, copy what we've already done before and paste it here. So for example, if I go to my profile and let me go to my comments, let me find something with comments here. So as you can see here, these comments, they can kind of pass as messages here. So I think we can safely copy the comment.php and use it over there. So let's go back to where we were. And there we go. So let's go to our text editor and let's look at uh, comment.php. And this is the file right here. So what I will do is say oh, open container folder. And actually, I didn't need to do this. What I needed to do was select all and copy. And then I will go to message.php. Oh, wait a minute. Did I already do this? Well, I guess I did. All right, so there we go. So message.php. So let's go back to where the messages are, which is messages.php. And then I will come to wait a minute to the section where we're actually showing our messages which is right there i'm going to comment that out and i will simply do an include here i'll say include message.php like so definitely i need to edit that okay so now messages message.php actually expects uh, certain values. For example, row user is expected here. And then we also expect uh, comment. Now, instead of having to deal with comment, I will instead convert this into uh, message so that it suits better so i'm, I'm pressing ctrl d here to select all of these occurrences of comment and simply change it to message to better suit what we are doing and unfortunately i'm editing the wrong place i have to click find all where is that find all and then do message like so good okay row user is fine so let's go to singlepost.php so we can copy how we did the raw user there. So I will go to, uh, where is this? Single post. Mm -hmm. So right in, let's go down here where we show comments. And this is the one right here, but then we were getting the user from there. So I will copy that. But remember that I need the user class as well to be active. So I'll copy that first in messages.php. So right there, I will, I don't need to, oh, I do need to repeat this. So I'll paste it there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, okay, so the user class is there, okay. And then the user user ID. Okay, so let's get that one. Come back here. Wait, 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 wait. The comments are actually down here. Hmm. Copy that. Come back here. And let's do that. User get user. Okay. I think that should work. But there's no need to instantiate this inside a for each loop that is wasteful because we'll create a lot of instances in that loop. So let's put it outside. Make sure there are no loops here. Okay, I think uh, that works. And then let's change this from comment because we don't actually have this. We just have message row, msg row. And then we'll get for a user there. So 
let's give it a spin and see what we actually get. Okay, so, so many errors to get to, but uh, this is good. At least we getting something. So the first thing we do is look at the very first error. Usually these errors, once you fix one, a bunch of them are fixed down here as well. So first of all, unidentified index user ID on line 208 in messages. So let's look at 208 and there we go. So it's saying there's no user ID inside the rows here. So let's move this row up there and check what we actually do have. So what we do have actually, okay, before I even do this, I think the best approach is to go back to our database and we can view things from there. So let's go to our database and look at the messages table. And then let's look at what we have here. So we have sender and receiver instead, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, we, we need to know who this message belongs to at this point. So the message belongs to the sender. The one who is sending is the one that uh, wrote the message, right? So since we know that, we have to use sender instead of user ID. So here, let's replace that with sender. Okay, so let's go back and see what happens. So let's refresh. And at least now we can see um, an image there, which is pretty good. And we are seeing a name. So we are getting somewhere. And then we go to the next one. Now it says variable message, undefined variable message. So these are very simple errors on line 25 in message.php. Hmm. Okay, so it's telling me that uh, the row is undefined. So let's go back to single post here and let's see what we did in that case to get. Oh, so we assigned it to comment here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the mistake we made. So let me go back here because as you can see, it's expecting a message here because that's what we gave it this variable message. So let me copy that. Mm -hmm. Let's come back to messages here. And so here, instead of as message row, let's replace message row, shall we? And put message like that, because that's what our file here is expecting to see. So this should sort out a bunch of more problems by refreshing. Okay, so the errors are getting less and less, which is good. Now, undefined index user ID on line 25. So let's go back and see. Uh... Okay, so before we deal with the user ID, let's deal with the is profile image or is cover image. These are irrelevant to messages. So 29 and 40 on line 29 and line uh, 40 message.php so line 40 that is that's the one right there if it's cover image if it's profile image hmm. okay so here this is which the part that says so, so and so i uh, did this to uh, updated the profile image and so on but we don't need all this so let's uh, remove that and let's make sure we haven't broken anything by refreshing. Okay, good. Now, undefined index post, because we are looking for a comment instead of oh, a message here. It's message and not post. So let's look at uh, 33. There's no index of image. It's actually file. And let's look at 39. So let's go back here, 33 and 39. So 33, instead of post, we have message. 39 we don't have image we have file okay let's refresh uh -huh. we are getting closer now there's no likes 
for this because we don't actually need to have likes so 53 and has image is not necessary hmm maybe we might want to add that but there's probably no need what we do is let's go to 53 and 67 and solve those so 53 we don't need likes okay so this whole area here is irrelevant mm -hmm. 